Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a chart to your WordPress website. So let's get started. This is a chart that we're going to add in our WordPress website. And uh, here we can see when we hover over each of these bars, we get uh, the details of the bar. And when we refresh this page, we can see we have an animation. Now, if you want to learn how to design this from scratch with a library called Chart.js, then uh, you can watch my previous videos. I will leave the link in the description below. And I also have a video on how to add the chart to your blogger website. So if you're interested in that, you can watch that as well. I will leave the link in the description. All right, so let's go to the dashboard of our WordPress website and uh, let's go ahead and create a new post. So go to posts and click on add new. All right, so let's add a title over here. And now here we need to add our custom design. So for that, we have to add some HTML code. So the first thing you need to do is go to this uh, options button and then select code editor. And now here you can add your HTML code. So let's go to the source code of our chart. And this is the source code. I will leave the link of the source code in the description below. All right. So the first thing we need to do is add the HTML. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here that's it with the html now let's go ahead and publish this post now the next thing you need to do is add the javascript so let's go back to the dashboard and i'm using a plugin called custom css and js to add our javascript and css so if you don't have this already you can go to this uh, plugins option and click on add new and search for custom css and js and you'll find this just go ahead install it and activate the plugin and you will get this option called custom CSS and JS. So let's go over here and click on add custom JS. And here you can add a title. So we'll just add chart JS. And here you have to add your JavaScript code. So let's delete this. And let's go to the source code and let's go to main.js file. Now let's copy this JavaScript code from here and we'll paste it over here. And now to change the data of your chart, you can uh, change the labels over here so the labels are php javascript java and all these labels uh, displayed over here at the bottom you can change that over here by changing these values and if you want to add new values you can just add a comma and add your label right here and then for the data that is uh, these values like 12 15 11 these values can be changed by changing the value inside data so just go ahead and customize these values to your needs and you can even change the background color and the border color over here once you've done all the customization just go to the right and select footer instead of header and uh, then go ahead and click on publish right now we have added the javascript code but we also need to add the link of our uh, library so if you go to the index.html file here we have added a link for the chart.js library. So let's copy this from here. And to add a link of a library, you have to go to add HTML code. And then go ahead and paste the code right here. And it will be in the footer as well. So just select footer and then click on publish. We haven't added a title. So let's add a title. And then click on update. Right now we have added the link of the library as well as the code to display the chart. So let's go to posts and see whether our chart is being displayed. So click on view on the post. And we can see that our chart is being displayed correctly. Now the last thing we need to do is add the CSS that we have over here in style.css. So let's copy this and let's go back to custom CSS and JS and select add custom CSS. Let's add a title over here. So chart JS CSS. And uh, let's paste the CSS over here. And all these options are correct. So let's go ahead and publish. Now let's refresh our page and see whether the CSS is working. So here we can see that the CSS is working all right. And our chart is being displayed correctly. So that's how you add a chart to your WordPress website. Now let me show you one more way to add a chart to your WordPress website. So let's go back to the dashboard and this time we'll use a plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. 
and then search for a plugin called visualizer then just go ahead and click on install now and then click on activate and we can see the visualizer plugin has been activated so let's click on add new chart and right away we can see the different types of charts available in this plugin and there are also some premium options like gauge candlestick and all so if you want you can purchase the premium version but for now let's go ahead and uh, select this option called pie chart and then click on next and now here we have some options to add data to the chart so we have the option of adding a data from a file so if you have a csv file which basically consists of data with key value pairs so if you have csv data you can just go ahead and choose the file from here and the data that is inside the csv file will be reflected here in the chart and then we have different options over here like importing data from url from other chart and all these but let's go ahead and select this option called manual data now let's click on edit data to edit the data of our chart so here we can see this format which we can use to edit our data so if you go to our chart we can see these are programming languages and these are the words so here instead of task we will type programming language and instead of hours per day we will just type words in thousands and then string and number are correct and then here we have to edit these with the programming language names so here we have php javascript java c and python so let's add them over here and let's see what are the words so for php we have 12 15 11 10 and 13 so we have updated the data now let's go ahead and click on show chart and now we can see the chart with the updated data and uh, if you go to settings so we have different options like general settings we can add a title so let's add popularity of programming languages you can change the color of the text the font style and uh, all these options are available so you can go ahead and play around with these values till you get the perfect design and then here we can see pie settings so let's click on that and uh, here we have number format you can go ahead and uh, click on this link and uh, get to know how to use this but we're going to just leave it as it is and here we have the option of is it 3d so we can uh, click on yes and now we can see that we have a 3d pie chart and there are a lot of different options i'm not going to go into all those you can just check all those by yourselves all right now let's go ahead and uh, click on create chart and our chart has been created now the next thing you need to do is uh, click on this button called click to copy short code so the short code has been copied now we can use this short code to add this chart to our post so let's go to post and click on add new so let's just type some stats to and then just type forward slash and uh, type short code and here you can paste your short code and once you've done that click on publish and uh, let's view our post and see whether the chart is being displayed and here we can see our chart is being displayed correctly so this is also one way of adding a chart to your WordPress website so I hope that you have enjoyed this video and uh, I have shown you two different ways of adding charts to your WordPress website and for this chart we can also change the type of the chart so if you go to the source code and uh, here you can change the type by typing pie chart over here so if you type pie it will change to a pie chart so here we can see this is a pie chart
or for example donut and it will change to a donut chart you can get all the information about different types of charts by going to the official website of chart.js so that's basically it for this video if you enjoyed this video please click on the like button and uh, if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day